Hey everybody, Happy New Year. This is Mark Clark with Melodities Music in the shop today. I'd like to show you a project I started working on about a week or so ago. I wanted to catch you up on the progress. This is another of my uh, lap steel um, made from violin case, an old antique violin case. In this instance, this is a homemade case. No idea who built it. Uh, the person that sold it to me estimated it to be around 100 years old, which is pretty standard for what I see in these old cases. Um, they're really cool. Um, uh, you can see some of the detail in getting that nice curve to the top of it for, to fit a violin. There's a lot of handiwork inside. It's hard to tell, but there's a concave, hand-carved area for the various pieces of the uh, violin. So when I... Uh, took all of the fabric off the inside, it reveals a lot of the handiwork that's hidden and the different divots and pieces that where a violin would fit. On this one, I do something that's pretty standard as I'm installing these little guide rails all the way around, these little thin strips of wood going here. And what that does is it helps get a better fit whenever the uh, you put the lid on top of it. Because a lot of these old cases, you know, in, in and of themselves, will squeak and move around a little bit, but this just really secures it nicely. So once I put the latches and the hinges on there, uh, it's pretty pretty secure. Um, the other thing I've done is create a uh, through the body neck and this piece of Paducah veneer over a pine neck. I'll have the holes cut up here and tuning keys uh, put up here. I've um, got a little, there'll be a little space for a nut to sit up in the, the top part, if you can see that a little bit better, kind of butt up against that. And then I've cut some notches in here to fit. And this is a pretty snug fit, so it doesn't go in easily, but it stays nicely. So again, you've got support through the body. All of the tension for this is on the neck. There's no real tension on this old case. Uh, that being said, there could be a little bits of gap Underneath here, I'll reinforce that, make sure it's it's in good shape. Because uh, the other item that I'm going to install on this one, the first time I've used it, this is a fellow by the name of Dana, produces these uh, little benders, uh, a company called Relapse. You may have seen some of the ads, but it's called a bee bender. But um, you can buy them for one, two, and three string hardtail bridges. And what they do is mimic a pedal steel sound because they allow you to bend certain notes to give you the certain chord progressions that you would might hear from a pedal steel player. So uh, this is gonna be a little learning curve for me to work. I don't work often with hardtail bridges and I've never used these benders before. So we'll see how it works out when it's all said and done. Anyway, on the next steps, we're gonna be cutting the holes for the tuners and start building a nut and uh, start lining up the tailpiece, getting it all sanded and finished and everything. I'll. Uh, post some other videos as we progress but uh you guys get out and the girls get out in the shop and do something today um uh, from a lot of these music see ya